Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you the What's In My Soccer Bag video for the month of April 2015. Now for those that are unfamiliar with this series, this is where I go through and highlight all of the best products that I found myself using throughout the previous month by filling up an entire soccer bag worth of apparel, equipment, as well as of course footwear. Now these are all items that I found to be particularly good regardless of their price, regardless of whether they are new or old, and of course these are not necessarily products products that I all wore or used at the same time. Just products that I assembled in one soccer bag and thought were worth highlighting. Now, of course, all of the items that you see in today's video, you can purchase for yourself by checking out the What's In My Soccer Bag page on my website. That will be the very first link down below in the description. So like I said, all of the items in today's video, if you click the first link down below in the description, you'll find them all listed in the form of Buy It Now links, along with exclusive SR4U coupon codes, where you can get them for yourself for the lowest possible prices. So again, if you see something in today's video that you're interested in purchasing for yourself first link down below in the description go ahead and check it out and with that being said let's get into the what's in my soccer bag video for april 2015. all right so for the month of april i found myself using the same duffel bag i've been using for the last couple of months it is the nike brasilia six size large duffel bag it has a retail price of 50 dollars us it's available in a couple of different colors not particularly cheap but it's very well made it has high quality zippers and most importantly for me it holds a ton of stuff so whether i want to have a lot of apparel a couple pairs of shoes and a soccer ball or just a bunch of soccer balls and a couple pairs of shoes I can have that with this single duffel bag and it's really the only bag that I need to take to the field with me so that's why I really like this one and why I continue to use it so we'll get this guy out of the way and we'll take a closer look at what is on the inside because that is obviously what everybody is here to see so the first item that I have in my bag is something I've been using consistently for about a year now these are the Storelli body shield slider shorts they have a retail price of $54 US and essentially what they are are compression shorts um, which I really like to have when I play any kind of sport period with the added benefit of having the pour on inserts down the side of either leg so you get that little bit of extra protection with no extra bulk whatsoever so if you're looking for a great pair of soccer specific compression shorts the Storelli body shield slider shorts are some that I can very very strongly recommend I've been using them for a long time and I've yet to come across anything any better as far as regular shorts go I have these guys right here these are the Nike squad knit shorts um, they're available again in a couple different colorway variations the ones that I have right here are black in color with a volt yellow stripe down either side of the leg as you guys can see and then an embroidered Nike swoosh it's made from a very thin lightweight uh, dry fit material the retail price on these guys is $40 US so they aren't particularly cheap but they're very very nice quality so if you are looking for a nice lightweight pair of Nike shorts that are available in some pretty cool different colorway variations this is definitely a pair of shorts that I can recommend at the $40 price point so we'll fold those up put them to the side and we'll move on to the next item which is the um, training top that I've been using quite a bit I really like how this one looks and it's very comfortable as well this is the new Nike USA training jersey for 2015 it has a retail price of $55 US so again not particularly cheap but it is of course authentic licensed apparel it's mostly white in color on both the front and back as you guys can see um, on the back it's kind of more of an open mesh material where the front is more of a solid dry fit material you're going to find the red logos in the form of the USA crest as well as the embroidered Nike swoosh right there on the front you have blue stripes going down uh, either sleeve and then red stripes going down the sides of the shirt which I think look really cool obviously the colors of the USA uh, of the USA and uh, it's just a nice shirt overall so for 55 bucks definitely something you can't go wrong with and with the more simple color scheme and design with that particular shirt you can wear it for training you can also wear it casually which is really nice because a lot of these training shirts they're a little bit over the top you might not necessarily want to wear them casually but that one is more on the simple side which is really really nice now when it was a little bit colder and we still had those days here in April not necessarily any snow which was really nice um, this is the jacket that I found myself using this is the new Adidas LA Galaxy full zip anthem jacket really really cool it's made from kind of a thicker sweater kind of uh, material that is nice and warm if you do need that little bit of extra warmth um, for when it is a little bit colder outside obviously it's a full zip as you guys can see you do have the pockets on either side and this pocket right here kind of at your uh, chest area I'm not sure why you would need that but it is there and I think it looks pretty cool especially because you do have the yellow zipper obviously you do have the LA Galaxy logo there with the four silver stars which is pretty cool the Adidas logo embroidered in gold um, and then of course you do have the gold stripes going down the side um, at the very bottom as you guys can see there's a nice white and gold um, kind of accent which I think is pretty cool that does carry across the back of the shirt as well and it's just a nice shirt overall you have a bit of a pinstripe design going across 
um, kind of the chest area and shoulder area. Hopefully you guys can see that on camera. And it's just a nice jacket overall. And for the $100 retail price, it's not particularly cheap, but it's not overly expensive either, especially considering the quality of the thing. So if you're looking for a nice training jacket, perhaps you're a fan of any of the MLS teams, they have that jacket for a variety of MLS teams. I just happen to pick LA Galaxy just because I liked how it looks. And uh, I'm a fan of the team. So that's it for the jacket as far as pants go. I picked up these guys right here. These are the Adidas Tiro 15 Plus graphic pants. Now they're pretty much the same as a standard pair of Tiro 15 pants. What makes these different is the actual color and the graphic down the side. So this one's a pretty interesting royal blue color. I've never seen royal blue Tiro pants. Normally navy blue is the only color they offer them in. So I saw these in royal blue. I had to pick them up. Uh, what's great about these is they're tapered towards the bottom. So they're a little bit tighter around your ankle, which makes them ideal for um, soccer specific use, just because you're not going to have extra material flopping around um, when you are actually playing, which is really, really nice. Um, it's made from a nice high quality material. They're very comfortable to wear. You can of course wear them casually as well. And down the side you do of course have have the three adidas stripes in this particular situation they are black and then you have this kind of blue and black graphic going down the side where the stripes are as well which i think looks pretty cool and it's just a nice pair of pants overall again for either practicing in when it is a little bit colder or of course if you do want to wear them casually these guys have a retail price of 50 dollars us um, which uh, is not too bad considering that the regular ones um, retail for around 45 or so so you're paying a five dollar premium for this particular variation of the tiro pants uh, but if you like how they look the five dollars is definitely something that i think you can pretty easily justify now as far as socks go um, i found myself training in these socks right here these are um, the new Nike Elite Match Fit socks. It's actually a crew sock length, as you guys can see. And these are available in a couple different colors. And the reason why I picked these up is just because they're very, very cool. It's essentially the Nike Stadium sock, but what makes it a little bit different is the actual graphic that hopefully you guys can see on camera here. It's at this very cool, reminds me, what reminds me of kind of like a circuit board or something like that type of pattern in there. Um, very complex, not necessarily any better as far as quality is concerned, but it just has a cool look about it. These ones are kind of like an orangish pink color. It's got the nice kind of extra padding there in the foot, and they just fit extremely well. You have, of course, that graphic going down the back, um, the arrow graphic that you will, of course, find on the Stadium series of socks as well. And they're just a nice pair of socks. And for the $18 price tag, not particularly cheap, but very premium socks that will keep you nice and comfortable while you're actually wearing your shoes, which is, of course, very, very important. And then as my second pair of socks, um, something I use all the time, these are True Socks. True Socks is uh, really the best product as far as socks that eliminate any kind of extra slippage on the inside of your shoe. If that is something that you struggle with, True Socks will help to um, either completely eliminate any kind of slippage or severely reduce the amount of slippage that you're going to have inside your shoes. They retail for $40 US, so they are a little bit pricey as far as socks go. But again, if you do struggle with your shoes just not fitting you as well as you'd like them to, something like True Socks can really make a significant difference for you. Now, moving on to shin guard products. Uh, the first ones, again, something I've been using for quite a while now. These are the Storelli Body Shield uh, leg guards. What I like about these is they are... Um, sleeves for your actual shin guards that's built into the leg guard itself and because of the design the shin guards can't actually fall through the bottom which is really nice so no need for tape or anything like that and you of course have the added benefit of pour on padding going down the outside of the leg covering your entire shin or the outside of your leg as well as the ankle and then on the inside you have the ankle padding as well i'm not a fan of extra bulk or extra padding around my ankles or on my shins really but something like this does a good job of keeping your shin guards in place without the need for tape plus you get that little bit of extra padding with pretty much no extra bulk whatsoever at least anything that's particularly noticeable um, and again it just makes a big difference when you do take those little shots to the ankle and stuff like that having some padding is a lot better than having no padding at all these guys retail for about $36 and really are just a great price and a great value if you're looking for something to one hold your shin guards up or two just give you that little bit of extra protection with minimal extra bulk so I'll move these right here to the side and we'll move on to the actual shin guards that I found myself using these are the C6 Agility Carbon Fiber Shin Guards. Again, something I've been using for a very long time now. And I know I've been using them a lot. A lot of you guys are probably sick of me talking about these in the video, but they really are the best of the best as far as Shin Guards products go. Um, they're extremely lightweight. They're literally paper thin, and they're just really, really solid. They're some of the strongest Shin Guards, if not the very strongest Shin Guards um, that money can buy. The retail price is $150 US. 
um, but you can get them with an SR4U coupon code for about 135 so you can save yourself a little bit of money there. Still expensive as far as shin guards go, but um, they're the last pair of shin guards that you'll ever need. If you really are looking for the best of the best as far as shin guards go, C6 Agility Carbon Fiber Shin Guards, there's nothing better on the market at the moment. So we'll put that over to the side. Next, we of course need a soccer ball. And what I have right here is actually a ball I haven't made a video on, but I've had it for a little while now. This is the um, new Copa America ball, the Nike Ordem 2. Um, so it's just an Ordem 2 with the Copa America graphics. And it's a really cool looking ball. Obviously the Ordem 2 is a proven performer. They use it in a lot of major leagues around the world. And uh, uh, this particular variation has a white base to it. And then you have this very cool kind of, what I guess is kind of an Aztec-like graphic on there, um, almost like a digital Aztec graphic. I'm not sure how you would describe it, but it's a very cool looking ball in my opinion. Of course, it's FIFA approved. And given that it is the official match ball, it does have a retail price of $150 US. So it is pretty pricey, again, for a soccer ball. Uh, but if you're looking for the best of the best as far as performance is concerned, if you want exactly what the pros are using on TV, $150 is more or less the price to pay. So again, uh, Nike Ordem 2 in the Copa America variation. That's the ball that I really enjoyed. I'm using this particular month and then we're going to move on to shoes so as far as trainers go i really enjoy these this month these are the nike free 3.0 flyknit um, uh, running shoes uh, this is the 2015 model of course they have a retail price of uh, $140 US and what's great about these is it's a great soccer specific trainer in that they're very low profile the drop from the heel to forefoot with the actual outsole itself is only four millimeters so they're basically flat similar to an actual pair of soccer shoes and there's just minimal underfoot cushioning and they're of course very very flexible so again running in these um, is a lot more like running in an actual pair of soccer shoes than a more traditional running shoe would be. Plus you get that fine at upper that obviously a lot of soccer shoes are, are featuring now, especially from Nike, of course. Um, and it's just a comfortable pair of shoes. I think they look great. You can wear them casually, of course. And if you're just looking for a nice low profile fly knit runner, um, the Nike Free 3.0 2015 is definitely a shoe that I would strongly consider. So I'll put that over to the side. As far as indoors or turf models are concerned, um, I found myself really enjoying these this month. This is the new uh, Nike Magista X uh, Proximo in the street variation. And the reason why I like the street variation is because it actually does have a top layer of leather on top of the actual flyknit base, which gives the shoe a very unique uh, sensation in terms of playing in them. This is technically, or at least at the moment, the replacement for the Lunar Gato 2, which was previously my favorite indoor model from Nike. You do, of course, get that Lunar Lawn bottom, so uh, you get a decent amount of underfoot cushioning while still maintaining a fairly low profile feel while you're actually wearing the shoes. You got that flyknit Obra Upper that gives the shoe a very uh, comfortable, secure, and responsive feel when you pull the laces tight, and then you get the extra padding from the leather that gives the shoes a leather-like sensation, but at the same time, they're more responsive than most leather shoes would be, or any leather shoe, because of that flying at base. It's a very unique sensation to wear these things, plus I think they look good in this um, kind of black and white reflective colorway. So Nike Magista X Proximo Street, great pair of indoors. They're also available in a turf variation as well. Next, um, as far as regular shoes go, I really found myself enjoying these, and it's one of those shoes that I wasn't overly impressed with, if you guys saw my original video on them, uh, but after using them, I have to say, they're, they're pretty decent. This is the uh, limited edition Evo Accuracy 1, the MB45 shoe, Mario Balotelli is wearing these exclusively, and essentially what this is, is an Evo Power 1 with some modifications to it. Instead of the shoe being more flexible, it actually has all over AccuFoam padding. So it's a little bit stiffer and certainly a lot thicker as far as the touch on the ball is concerned. They're not nearly as flexible and I would describe it as an Evo Power One with more of a solid padded feel to it. Um, it's something that I really liked. I'm generally a fan of leather shoes, uh, but I really found myself enjoying these. And if you like the Evo Power line and you were just curious about the Evo accuracy, it's definitely a shoe that I can strongly recommend. It's different from the Evo Power 1 and Evo Power 1.2, but still similar in terms of the type of feel that it provides while you're actually wearing them. So Evo, Evo Accuracy, definitely a shoe that I really enjoyed this month. And then finally, the last pair of shoes, uh, a shoe that has really impressed me this month is the new Prime Knit 2.0. So this is um, basically Adidas's answer uh, to Nike's Flyknit models. This is the new Prime Knit 2.0, Prime Knit being Adidas's variation of Flyknit. So it's a knitted soccer shoe. And then of course you do have that top layer um, of material that kind of acts as a protective uh, kind of a layer for the actual prime knit itself. 
And it's just a really, really remarkable shoe. Extremely responsive, very, very comfortable. They fit really, really well. Obviously, they implemented the F50 Addy Zero bottom on there. Um, that works really, really well as far as traction is concerned. I um, actually did make a traction test video of the Prime Knit 2.0 if you guys want to look it up on the channel. Also, leave an annotation on screen so you can go ahead and watch that if you did miss it. But overall, very, very impressive shoe. It's relatively lightweight, has a nice, tight, secure fit. It's extremely responsive. Traction is great. And the overall touch and feel that you get on the ball is also really, really impressive. Not too thick, not too thin. It kind of just feels just right. Um, it's a really, really impressive first go um, at kind of uh, prime knit technology or knitted soccer shoe for adidas obviously we did have the prime knit 1.0 before this but uh, this is um, way better in terms of quality and just as a final product uh, this is just one of those shoes that to me adidas could release this right now as a fourth or fifth silo and uh, it would work totally fine but Really, really impressive shoe. $300 retail price because it is technically a limited edition release. Hasn't really sold out though, so you can still get your hands on them. And if you are at all skeptical of picking up a pair of Prime Knit 2.0s, all I can tell you is go for it, especially if you just really want them. It's a limited edition release. It's going to be a little bit more unique um, than pretty much all of, a, uh, all of the other Adidas models that are currently available. And like I said, the performance and feel is top notch with this shoe. So again, if you are at all curious about the Prime Knit 2.0, I would say to go for them because they really have impressed me quite a bit and that doesn't happen all that often way uh, well exceeded uh, my expectations so that is pretty much it for the what's in my bag video for um, April 2015 hopefully you enjoyed it if you did be sure to support this video with a like again if you guys are interested in any of the items that you saw in today's video be sure to check out the what's in my soccer bag page on my website it'll be the very first link down below in the description of this video on that page you will find buy it now links along with exclusive sr 4 u coupon codes for all of the items that you see here so again if you see something that you like you want to purchase it for yourself first link down below in the description go ahead and check it out Again, if you guys enjoy the What's in My Soccer Bag series, want to continue seeing this series happen on a monthly basis, be sure to support this video with a like. If you have any questions at all regarding any of the items in today's video, leave them down below in the comment section. I definitely will get an answer out to you. Uh, all my social media information is down below in the description as well. You can go ahead and check that out. And with that being said, hope you enjoyed today's video. And as always, thanks for watching.